In this video, we will discuss about a code builder, uh, which is uh, which is an editor where you can edit your code, uh, 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 where you can uh, write or you, where you can uh, edit the code of uh, Lightning Web Components (LWC) also. And it is uh, Chrome based only. You don't have to install uh, any another software. Uh, as of now, it is in beta version. So uh, there are some restrictions to it. Like uh, it has only uh, a limited access to a particular org. Like uh, you, you will have only 20 hours in, uh, in a month. Uh, like in 30 days, you, you will have only 20 hours. Uh, you can spend on that particular thing. Uh, that is code builder you can build the code you can deploy it to your org uh, but once that is expired like your 20 hours has been gone so or uh, you have exhausted your 20 hours then all the things which you created in that particular uh, uh, folders or repository or uh, cloud-based repository that is code builders uh, repository you can see all the things will be gone so you have to take care of that and uh, today uh, we will discuss like uh, step by step how we can install this and then uh, what are the permissions needed for that and uh, how we can create a project out of that and then uh, how we can uh, in this video we will showcase you like how we can create a sample uh, uh, what i can say a sample uh, program and that we will deploy to our source org okay so let's start so first you have to go to uh, the home and you have to visit the app exchange and in app exchange uh, you have to search for code builder so it's code builder <coughs> okay so. so then you have to just uh, install this one so you have to click on uh, get it now and uh, you can or read the whatever uh, it, it is related to that particular uh, package which will be installed like how many custom objects and how many custom apps are there and how many custom tabs are there so this are these are all the contents which you will get in that particular package so once you uh, click on get it now uh, then a login screen will open like uh, in which org you want to so according to that you have to allow it you have to give access to that particular url it is taking time due to uh, internet connection at my end so now uh, where you want to install this as the name suggests like it's code builder it's in the beta version that's why it is uh, in the round bracket it is given better and then uh, where you want to install this in the org or in the sandbox accordingly you can uh, check and then you can confirm that thing uh, uh, then you have to just mention like for all admins you want to install it because uh, all the admins will uh, only do means they will do the development stuff or the developers will have system administrator profile that's why it will be for all the admins uh, it will take some time like it's installing and grant, uh, granting access to all the admins in your org so it will take uh, some time uh, so it might take some time Now it is taking too a uh, long time so that's why uh, we will get a mail confirmation so this is the mail confirmation that uh, the package has been uh, successfully installed in that particular um, org so now we will just check 
uh, we will search for the permission sets because there is one permission set which will be installed uh, when you install that particular package that is a code builder permission set so you can assign uh, assign to a number of uh, users that particular permission set if if you want to give them access of the code builder we will go to code builder permission set and then we will go to uh, manage assignments and we will assign uh, to the particular user so now uh, i have selected one user and uh, then i will click next in this you can specify if there is an expiration date if not then uh, you can assign directly to it the expiration is no expiry to this particular thing and then you have to go to uh, app launcher in that you have to search for code builder beta and then you have to click on that particular app uh, then you can see there is a code builder dashboard uh, as a home page might be and then uh, you have to hit uh, the get started so i will click on get started and then a new project or you can import it from a github if there is any existing project in the github you can name anything to the you can name anything to the project like my lwc and what will be the project type project type will be standard so the project name will be this and the project name uh, sorry project type will be standard then you have to click uh, next and connect to a development org or connect to a sandbox org so i will uh, connect to a development org so i will just uh, enter the credentials and uh, i will uh, allow code builder to read all the metadata and all the files from uh, my org because somehow i have to deploy it to the org which i have connected you can disconnect the org from here and you can uh, connect the org as well if you have uh, multiple orgs so what will be org allies uh, it will work as a unique identifier to identify uh, which org is connected so you can uh, specify if it is dev uad or uh, if it is your developer uh, salesforce edition developer um, uh, org in which you practice so you can hit create uh, then as you can see it is creating the environment for that particular uh, my lwc project uh, and as you can see it will expire on october 14 uh, 2022 and uh, 20 hours are remaining so there are only 20 hours which is permitted for 30 days okay so this we have created on 14th so that's why it's like uh, 30 days 14 september to 14 october and in the meanwhile if we complete 20 hours then uh, this will automatically uh, what i can say free up the space or automatically there will be nothing like uh, this particular project will uh, go away but all the things which you have uh, created in this particular project and if you have deployed it to your source org or if you have deployed it to your uh, salesforce org that you can retrieve via vs code or uh, via workbench or all that stuff and you can work on uh, on the enhancements or modifications related to that particular uh, components Uh, it, it will take some time uh, as it is initializing for the first time i think okay so now it's redirecting us uh, to the like the folder structure that is home uh, code builder my lwc project so it's my lwc project uh, you can see the the ui is more or less uh, like the vs code visual studio and uh, but it's in the chrome like in a tab we are editing the code uh, we are not installing or we are not configuring everything that we have to do for visual studio uh, then you have to like what we do is uh, we authorize the org so in this you have to just authorize your org then you have <coughs> so you have to connect it so your org uh, will be authorized it is uh, salesforce cli which will use this you are connected okay
so the authorized and or successfully ran so the org authorization is successful so you know uh, you, now you have to create a, a lightning web component so we are just creating a simple component to the showcase <coughs> demo component will be the name and then uh, it will be in that particular LWC folder oh it failed to run oh, sorry it failed to run or oh, might be some issue in the back end so we will just go and we will uh, oh it's created and there are three files HTML JS and one is oh, meta XML file so we will just go to HTML file and we will just uh, print something for an example it will be code builder okay, so it's code builder demo or uh, will be printed in the screen wherever we uh, uh, make this uh, lightning web component available so to make this available in the org you have to set is exposed uh, property to true and uh, what will be your target like uh, target can be like uh, app page or like it can be record page it can be a quick action so accordingly you have to give it a name which is there in the documentation salesforce documentation now i am deploying it to my salesforce uh, org i have deployed it successfully So now I'm going to my sales app and uh, in the builder I will just add that particular component so it's demo component and just push it to the that particular home page so now as you can see I have developed that in the code builder and then I have pushed uh, I have deployed it to the source org salesforce org and now it is available uh, in that particular org. so that's all for the uh, that's all for the code builder uh, thank you and have a nice day